Hi there, I'm Sarah Mee at SoSo, -So, and today I'm going to show you how to serge elastic onto a waistband. It's my favorite way to use elastic on a waistband. You can make a casing and insert elastic, but I find that generally that elastic sometimes twists and it's just not quite as stable as surging the elastic directly onto the waist and then turning and top stitching it. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. And the first thing we're going to do is put our elastic into a circle. So get your elastic out and figure out what length that you need it to be. And then you're going to overlap the ends. So make sure you allow enough seam allowance to do that. I only overlap it about a half inch total. So basically you would need a quarter inch seam allowance on each edge um, for the length of your elastic. Now try and keep it nice and lined up along the long edge here and stitch it really good. Just stitch two parallel rows. I do it at both raw edges there so it's nice and flat. All right, so now we have our elastic and you can pull on it and make sure it's nice and secure. All right, now we're going to mark the centers and the sides. And my pair of pants happens to be equally divided in quarters with the center front, center back, and side seams. So just make sure that you evenly distribute the elastic. And I think four parts or four sections is ideal. So I'm going to use the stitching I just did as one center. And um, I recommend using something like chalk or a crayon or something like that, not a pin, because your hands are gonna be pretty busy at the serger and you don't wanna accidentally let that pin get sucked into the serger. Trust me, I know. All right, so I have one center that was a little messy because my, my crayon is not very sharp anymore. And so now I'm gonna fold this and mark my other center here, just like this. And now I'm going to line up those two centers on themselves and mark the others. So now I'll have my elastic in four sections. You can see I actually pieced this elastic together because I didn't have a long enough piece. And I'm using elastic that's not usually what I would use for a waistband, but it's the width I wanted and it's kind of hard to find this width. I generally like braided elastic um, and you can play around with non-roll as, as well, but I like the braided in things that aren't going to be stretched too far. I like how small or thin and flat it is and how stable it is. So I just recommend finding an elastic that isn't going to get stretched too far out. So if you have something that's very full and you need to cinch it in pretty far, you're gonna need an elastic that stretches really, really well with that and doesn't get curled or distorted in any way because you will have trouble getting that into the serger because remember, we're fixing it to the waistband edge. All right, so now we're gonna to go to the serger and we're going to attach this onto the waistband. Okay, we're here at the serger and we're going to put our garment right side out because we're gonna put the elastic on the inside. And I like the side of the elastic that has the markings on it to be face up so I can see them as I'm going through the machine. And you're only going to worry about each quadrant or each quarter of the garment that you're going to be serging the elastic to. And you're going to line it up and then line up your other hallmark or landmark, whatever you want to call it there. And then you're only going to be stretching this short section here, right? So the key to doing this, because this is a little bit scary for a lot of folks because they're worried they're going to break the needles of the serger. The key is that when you're actually doing this, you're not pulling on the elastic while it's sewing. You're holding it in its stretched state. So then it's just another piece of fabric to the serger. You're not trying to pull against the needle. It's already in the pulled state. So if you can consider thinking of it in that way, keeping the garment static while it goes through the machine, you don't have anything to worry about. So when I go on and off, I'm just gonna do my best to get onto the garment kind of just behind this center spot. Now, if you don't get things perfectly evenly distributed as far as your elastic goes, don't sweat it too much, especially if it's your first time. I haven't done this in a while myself, and this fabric is really lightweight. This isn't the most ideal elastic, but I'm still gonna go for it. And wait till you see my thread color, you're gonna be kind of shocked as well. <laughs> All right, so 
I'm gonna go onto my garment. Also, take a note which way you want your side seams to point so that you aren't scrambling to do that when you approach them. I know mine point forward because I have side seam pockets. All right, so let's get this going here. So now the first thing I like to do is, um, this is one of the rare times where I actually lift up my presser foot and I'm gonna get it going. I'm gonna get sewing a little bit. Here's my center back piece. I'm gonna slide this a little closer. I want it to be sewing a little bit so that when I pull on it, I don't yank it out of the machine. I also may need to stabilize it by holding behind the presser foot and where it's being sewn. All right, so I've got my center mark right there on that one. Here's my other one right here, kind of at the wrong end of my elastic. We'll hold it there, get it situated. This is non-negotiable, so I just hold this here and then I'm gonna adjust it as I go. So I'm gonna get it going. I'm not pulling on the elastic yet. I'm just gonna get it going. And I like a wide stitch and that the three thread serger is sufficient. I wouldn't use the seam. I would just use the three threads. That's completely sufficient. All right, so now I'm gonna hold this like this. I'm gonna hold behind back here so that I'm perfectly flat and straight. So I've stretched this out and I'm gonna hold it static just like this. Basically, I'm moving it through the machine like this, right? Let's get situated again. All right, here we go. I'm also not trimming anything off. You want the elastic butted right up against that edge. Make sure this edge that you're going to is almost always straight. If you have a gentle curve in that uh, waist seam, that's understandable. All right, so now we're gonna get situated again. We got to one qu quarter. So now let's find our other one. Here's my center front. Line it up on that mark. And I always turn my hand around so that I'm holding it like this. All right, and now same thing. I'm gonna pull it straight out stabilize it, and then I sew. If you need to adjust, stop completely, and then pick back up again. It's a little awkward when you get to those little uh, marks. Just do your best. All right, so here's another one. And this is my front, and I want my side seam to go that way. Make sure your garment's not pulling. So, you know, re-situate it if you need to so that it's not dragging. My fabric's kind of creeping away from the edge there. So just make sure that um, you can kind of keep it in there a little bit. Slide it over if you can. It's probably cut a little bit crooked there. As long as we're catching it, we're gonna be okay. All right, we're almost done. We're already on the last quadrant. I'm going to leave my thread tail out of the way there. All right, so I'm gonna pull my last one. Now when I get to this beginning, I try not to let my blade cut off any of this edge that I've already sewn. And go up to the side of it. I'm going to sew over it a little bit. Oh, I caught a few of them there. And I'm going to pull it off at a 90 degree angle. I leave a tail and you can thread this through the serging if you like or um, pull it or tack it. I usually just pull it under and tack it. All right, we have one more step. Let's switch to the other machine. All right, how'd that go? I hope that felt okay. Just make sure you practice and try not to use any pens when you do something like that. All right, so we're back at the regular machine here and you can see that this went pretty good. It didn't have much to stretch, but this elastic doesn't stretch the most anyway, so that worked out well. So I'm gonna take my tail. I'm always really awkward about how I finish these and I'm just going to fold it back on itself and tack it in there just to cure it a little bit. 
right inside there and then I'm going to trim the rest of it off there. Okay, so now our last step, again I'm going to start at the back. Now I'm going to use thread that matches and you see I put my label there so I remembered to put it on and this is when I just fold it over and I tuck it under just like this. So I'm going to clean up these little threads here where I just tacked my tail. Now you want to fold this right along the top edge of the elastic, nice and smooth. And you're going to do the exact same style of sewing when you put it through the serger. You're going to stretch it and sew, stretch it and sew. So keep it stretched while you're sewing so you're not pulling on your needle at all. All right, here we go. It'd be so much nicer if it matched my yellow thread. <laughs> all right, so here's my side seam here so make sure I don't twist my seam allowance there and now I'm going to fold it over just like that and do the same thing because see how these gathers want to go at a little bit of an angle so we're going to try and correct that so pull the fabric so that snugs along the top edge stretch it as you go and see look it's nice and flat you don't need to use a zigzag machine or anything, uh, a zigzag stitch for this. You just need to keep your elastic stretched while you sew. Now, if you do have that kind of conundrum where your garment is much bigger than the elastic that you're sewing to, you may have a little bit of trouble with your elastic, you know, wanting to go that far. Um, you're just going to have to do your best with that, or you're going to have to decrease the volume of the waist. Alright, so let's make sure it's nice and smooth. You can see it's already looking really nice, very professional and ready to wear. And it's such a simple technique if you have the serger. All right, and same thing, I like kind of pull this fabric down. It can look like it's snug and it's not. And I really stretch it when I do this so that it's nice and flat and I don't get any of those diagonal lines. Okay, get into that home stretch. All right, and we're back at the beginning. Try and line up your stitching with where you started. Trim all your threads. And there we are, have it. We have a nice pair of elastic waistband with the um, serge style elastic in there so that there will be no twisting and you'll always have a nice sturdy waistband when you do it this way. I really love waistbands like this. I feel like they behave the best and they fit the nicest and they're nice and smooth and flat and they're just really less fussy overall. So I hope you enjoy. Good luck with that and um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks!